My name is Leslie Rodeberg and this is my coworker Courtney. I have picked communication as my quality. Effective communication is only 7% verbal and 93% nonverbal. Communication stands out and I relate most to because every day I go to work, I have to communicate with patients and coworkers. I work at a hospital laboratory. I draw blood from many patients a day. I have found I need to communicate with my patients every time I walk into their room. Verbally, I explain to the patients what to expect and what I am going to do as I do it. Non-verbally, I take cues from the patients on how they are feeling during the draw, for example, if they are scared or not feeling well. Now I'm going to demonstrate a blood draw. So first I'm going to take a tourniquet to tie around Courtney's arm to get her veins to pop up. Now I'm going to take an alcohol prep pad to clean her arm. You start in the center and work your way around. Then you let your site dry. Then you go ahead and open your needle to prep your needle. After your site is fully dry, you can go ahead and dry your sample. You want to make sure you're going to tell your patient that there's going to be a poke. Courtney, here's a poke. After drawing your sample, you want to make sure that you invert your tubes a few times to prevent the blood from clotting. After the needle is removed, you want to hold pressure to stop the bleeding. And as you can tell from my patient, the cue she was giving me is that she felt fine and that I was doing a great job. You can always place a piece of tape over the gauze 
to make sure the bleeding has fully stopped. Thank you.